Hello traders, this is Elizabeth Bilugina and you are watching daily stock market review by Tradimo. It's Tuesday and the market's risk sentiment is much better than it was on Monday. This is a quite natural thing for the stock market. One day investors are extremely risk averse, the next day their sentiment improves, even if there are no apparent reasons for that. So concerns about the global economic growth have eased, although the US yield curve remains inverted and uh, this is considered to be a sign of some future recession. Still, um, oil prices went up as tensions in Venezuela revived fears of supply losses. Gold retreated as demand for the safe haven declined. And we can see that um, Asian markets uh, recovered as uh, is shown uh, by Topics 500 index. European stocks also found support and managed to uh, resume growth. And uh, American S&P 500 index also is on the upside. There is a bullish gap after the dodgy candlestick which was formed on Monday. So all seems to be rather, rather fine. Technical layout didn't change much. We still have support around 2800 while resistance is located around 2817. And this is uh, the place where January highs uh, of 2018 are situated. The markets in general are awaiting the outcome of two important things. Trade talks between the United States and China and uh, all the Brexit process in the United Kingdom. As for trade talks, um, they are resuming this week in Beijing. And um, as for Brexit, a British Parliament uh, will have several key votes on Wednesday. Um, the lawmakers will discuss alternative to the scenario proposed by Prime Minister Theresa May. So important news will come rather soon. And within uh, a month or several weeks, uh, the situations will likely be somehow resolved. So the market will get the big push in this or that direction depending on the outcome. For now, we are awaiting the result of this news and trading may be limited by resistance we see on the chart and support, uh, of course, as well. If we switch to individual stock, of course, we should mention Apple. The company made a presentation on Monday and uh, it revealed the fact that it is switching from focus on hardware devices like iPhone and others. And it will incorporate uh, not only the production of devices, but also digital services. That was not really a surprise for the market. Everything was about the details. And um, yesterday, Apple presented four new things to the market. They are the video streaming service, um, a new subscription, gaming service and credit card which is in partnership with the bank Goldman Sachs. Uh, so four things were presented, however, the company didn't provide a lot of details about that and that kind of disappointed investors. The thing is that we do not know now how much subscription to Apple's video streaming service will cost and uh, some of uh, the things it proposed lack uh, uniqueness, for example, the credit card. As for the new subscription, several major newspapers declined Apple's offer to join this service and this is surely a bad news for the company. So uh, Apple didn't impress the market, any uh, big benefits from the strategy will be seen only in a very long term. And uh, for now, things are kind of uncertain uh, what Apple will do, how it will do it and uh, what happens, we do not 
know much yet and analysts do not have information about that as a result of the impact on the market will be limited uh, apple stock is trading uh, near the 200 day moving average at 190.60 decline below this level will open the way down to 187 mark and the lower support uh, lies around 176 on the upside resistance is at 198 200 and 210 if there is some kind of break to the upside which is not really likely at this point and uh, another stock we have to mention is airbus the french plane producer china's president uh, xi jinping is making a visit to paris and china's delegation signed a big deal to buy 300 new aircraft from airbus and certainly this is a positive uh, news for the company the stock is now eyeing levels around 119.50 uh, airbus is doing much better than its uh, main rival boeing which is in difficult times because uh, it suffered the second plane uh, crash in uh, less than five months so china may be using um, this purchase of airbus as a leverage in its trade talks with the United States that is possible however for Airbus that is certainly positive so uh, the stock will likely test um, the mentioned highest levels at least this is all for today thank you for your attention and if you like this video subscribe to Tradimo YouTube channel